we're almost done with the game, and I don't want there to be a a, a mix a, a you know a mix up going on with <clears throat> Resident Evil Biohazard. It's the last time I can make that joke. Salutation, Zippy. Two, three, six. <clears throat> yeah, Resident Evil 4 was supposed to have ghosts in it. it was supposed to have ghosts. Spooky. Please. I beg I beg thee. Thank you. No, I'm not gonna play this game again. <laughs> you crazy? One time is enough for me for this fucking game. Pays a rogue. So, chunks, huh? Tassibo with the Twitch Prime subscription. I think actually my Twitch Prime subscription is available. I need to figure out where to use it. <laughs> On yourself. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> I use it at tip of the hats. That's where I use the... Actually, no, it's not. It hasn't been a fucking... It hasn't been a month since tip of the hats. What am I talking about? <laughs> Feels like it, though. What's your race so you can use cute orange dog emotes? Alright, Python, just telling me to sub to other people's channel. Okay. I see where your allegiance lies. Hopefully I don't get electrocuted. Shrutendo with the 13 month with the 12 month Twitch Prime reset. Wait, I thought it was 13 months now. Oh well, let's dance. I'm already sub to raise, anyways. Listen, let's not let's not forget here. Let's not forget here. Uh we have a goal to get to. So we can get to another sub emote. All right. I feel like this is one of those games where the steam is going to hurt me if I try to walk through it. Hello? 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 Okay, bye. Hello? This is less than optimal. Fire is blazing steadily. Could this be some kind of furnace? What do you think, Jill? Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. A refueling device for the power room. 
It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. So you take the fuel supply capsule. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Bop it. Shake it. Spin it. Alright, so, uh, ammo, uh, ammo situation is not, not looking too great. No problem, Kelvin. Happy birthday, by the way. And thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Everyone give Kelvin a happy birthday. I have like 10 whole ammo. No, I don't. My shotgun ammo is like... I have only two shotgun shells. Not Hello! See, now this is an issue. I'm actually gonna go back to the... I forgot to put up my, um, my ink ribbons. It is not my birthday. It is... Kelvin's birthday. Say happy birthday to Kelvin. My birthday is over. I have to pay health insurance this year. I'm 26 now. At the end of this month, like, I don't have any more health care. Uh, Thousand Forge at some points, by the way. Um, okay, put this away. Not looking good. Okay. Ammo could be definitely better. I have one shotgun shot left, and then it's all just grenade launcher ammo. in here. Oh. A battery. And that's it that's in this room apparently. Hello. Oh boy. Is this the... Hey! <clears throat> okay, well that's good. Where does this go? I can go through this door. If only we had Dragon Style unlocked. Hey man, is Munch not going to be here when I beat this game? Hmm. 
can you guys stop making so much noise? Okay, is that one left? One asset left? No worries, Kelvin. I'm glad you, uh, have been enjoying the stuff. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> From the ceiling! I'm gay. Okay. Yeah, you can just do that. The lab self-destruct mechanism. It's huge. Understandable. Hello. What are you doing, Jill? Fuck's sake. Ugh. Thanks, Matt. Three shells left. This is not good. <laughs> hey, Spectag. Like video games? Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm not entirely sure about that. Someone give tag plus 100k views on that video. If any one of my videos, if any one of my recent videos should get 100k views, it should be the Half Life one. But I mean, it's not gonna happen, but that's the one that I would like. Because I think that's. One of the best so far in a while. <laughs> Hate video. Hates video games. Hate newspapers. Which Half Life one? The most recent one. Have to do it to him. I've watched that one pumpable times. Understandable. <laughs> okay, going straight ahead. So right here. Through here. Hey, worms. Straight ahead, and what's through the door that needed to be unlocked? Oh. That was for releasing the door locks. It's probably nothing. Somebody probably like hid their cake behind here and they didn't want anybody to get it. That's probably what it is. Okay. Laboratory B3. What? Jill? Chris, you're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open. Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay, no sightseeing though. Can I blow this place up without getting cra- <laughs> Okay, well now where do I go? 
So I need to find a key, right? It's locked. I don't know what kind of key I need to get. I just need to find a key. What other... I need to find the fuel. Some type of fuel I need to find. <laughs> Why are they yelling in front of each other? <laughs> Something big's going down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye Chris! Fuel. Where am I gonna get fuel from? The gas station. Shut up. <laughs> There's also this, which I don't know what this is. This seems to be something behind this dirty door. Open it. Yeah, okay. Sure. It looks like a refueling device. Is that the capsule place? Oh, hey, this is the fuel. You got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be a nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Oh, okay. Well, I hope they don't spawn any new enemies. <laughs> What is it? Is that nitroglycerin? Triple dog dare you. <laughs> I'll throw it at the door where Chris is and I'll blow it up. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? <laughs> it's not what I'm supposed to do, <laughs> but why not? What's the worst that can happen? I like it how- I like it how Jill- I finally find Chris at the bottom of this fucking, like, thing down here. And the first thing Chris says is, yeah, of course I'm alright. Like, shut up, Chris. <laughs> shake, shake, shake! Shake, shake! Mischief makers. The most impossible game ever. <laughs> Twist it. Bop it. Yeah. Mischief makes this like impossible. Like isn't even is it even a video game? Shake shake. Shut up, Cord. You can beat Mischief- There's an ending to Mischief Makers? Isn't just like the- Isn't just like the format of that game like really weird? Like... Aren't there like a shit ton of levels? There's like a hundred levels. Yeah, ugh. Hopefully they didn't spawn more enemies in here. Because I definitely, uh, cleared this place out. Yeah, I've tried watching... Please don't. Okay. <laughs> I've, I've tried watching the, um... I've tried watching speedruns of Mischief Makers, but it, it's also just impossible to follow. Alright, so what did that do? 
Why did I need fuel in this room? <laughs> also, why... Yeah. So, are, are you telling me that... Are you telling me that whenever they needed to refill this place, scientists needed to fill that thing up and then be very, 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 like, just walk down the hallway and put it in there or else, or else everybody would explode? What did that turn on? I'm gonna check that door at the back of the... See if that did something. Oh, is the elevator working? Okay. Eden. Nitroglycerin explains your blood vessels. Oh, yeah. I read something that, like, during, like, Vietnam, like, U.S. soldiers would eat, like, little, little packets of, like, C4 to get high. Elevator has power now. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. You can burn C4 and use it as, as a torch. Yeah, doesn't C4 only explode when it gets like a, an electrical signal? You can burn sticks of dynamite? What? Now that I don't believe. You're gonna have to explain that one. Caliber smoke a stick of dynamite. Well, you can light them on fire. No. <laughs> Didn't say they wouldn't explode. Okay. Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for me, you know. Uh, Let's go. What? Um. What? What? Barry, you are not one to talk. in the back for us. Laboratory B4. I'm a member of STARS. Not gonna talk about Chris? I don't know, if I tell her, if I tell him that I found Chris, Barry's probably gonna go down there and shoot him in the head or something like that. And then Jill will be like, oh, oops. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, 
You're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. I'm gay. Dude, is that Mr. Resident Evil? It's Mr. It's Evil. Magnificent. For the sake of this thing. Can you shoot him, Jill? You know, I hate goodbyes. Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! So, if I, if I had taken Barry's gun and not given it back to him, what would have happened? Hello? Damn it! <laughs> uh, Jill and Barry together in hell. Barry, can you shoot him? You Barry. want a piece of me? Barry, can you shoot him? What? Premature. <laughs> what? <gasps> What? No, Barry! What? You viral cultured freak! What? Whoa! Put some. Oh! Oh, it's spooky! Oh, is. This is a dead end? What the fuck? Hello. Ouch. <laughs> Headshot. What a path <laughs> What a rotten way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the Pri virus. The prototype parasite, which which uh which we had delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated, evolved, maybe a blah, blah, blah. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Though further modification and testing, through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. William Birkin. All right. I can't wait to see the look on Alexa's annoying face when I finally announce my research. Unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings.
There's no time for that. Okay. Could you not do that? <laughs> what about, how about like not doing that? Understandable. Hello, Just Barry. Um, can we leave? Hmm. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh, well, he's gonna come back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Snuggy with the 41 month tier 2 resub. Poggers. Let me just try actually off. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um. Which computer is it? Computer. Computer. Didn't I try this one? It's not even a computer. Help, computer. Number of capsules. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, well, um... This? There it is. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's just chilling. Having a little sleepy. Okay, ammo's looking great. Now where do I go? Oh. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. Deactivating and releasing all locks. What happened to the guy you rescued at the mansion? Um, the guy that got bit by the snake? He died like eight hours ago. <laughs> He's fine. He died, but he'll get better. All right, Chris. Oh, the bear just leave. Okay. All right, where's Chris? He gone. <laughs> I should yeah I should save <laughs> you bring the crank <laughs> system has been activated. 
Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. You spooked me. Dog whistle? Yeah. I needed to get chat in line a lot of the times. Okay, on this one. I still don't, like, know where the, like... I don't know what the escape... Like, nobody know. Wait, what's the escape route? <laughs> Woo! Hey, baby! Hello! Goodbye! <laughs> Dude, watch. I probably don't even have to go get Chris. Like, Chris is probably just like... Chris is probably left already. Chris dies. Chris, you better still be here, you asshole. Jill. Achievement unlocked. Sorry about the wait. Can I actually just leave? So everything's taken care of? <laughs> well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Can I just leave Chris here? All right, Chris. I don't know where we're... I don't know, like... Chris. Chris. Come on, buddy. Um... I don't know, like... Wait, there was something in that room? I'm going back. <laughs> Chris, we're going back. No, I, I forgot my keys. I forgot my wallet. Alright, Chris just had a bunch of shotgun shells here. It's an ink ribbon. Self-destruct sequence just means happy birthday in Polish, smile. Um... Flush the toilet. Plus the toilet for 100%. Okay, well, uh. Come on, let's go. Wait, how do you know which way to go? Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye, Chris. Is it this way? Or am I. Just, I don't know, like, where the. Is this the way? I don't know like where the escape route is. Like that is that was never established. We never got in contact with Brad. Oh, god damn this long way. Keep doing that. Tech found dead in Miami. Just dig up. Okay. When am I going to replay the original Halo trilogy on stream? I was thinking about saving that for like a co-op stream thing, but I don't know. I'll figure it out. Can you guys help me study negative polyatomic ions, please? Come oh. on, come on, hurry! Okay. Well, uh, this, this way? <laughs> Where are we going? The self-destruct system has been 
I guess I don't need the pistol anymore. Now Brad's running out of fuel. What the hell is this? That looks important. What the hell? I have to go back! We have to go back! I can like okay okay uh hopefully I can use this one in full health okay I can fuse unit <laughs> I can't even I can't drop the gun Really just three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Friss! Would you let me have my moments too? Alright. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. But the elevator was right there. <laughs> but the elevator is right there. The fuck? Where am I? What is this? Signal rockets. Well, a lot of this is just getting really convenient, huh? Is that firework? Hmm? Oh, right. They already caught up with me. Jill! You made it. Dang, Chris. Hello! Can you look at me, please, so I can shoot you right in the heart? Or not. Okay. How tall do you think this guy is? Whoa! Chris, you alright, buddy? Better tend to him quick. Use? Did <laughs> I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, it was worth a shot, right? Hello. Hello. Wait, hold on. Just wait, hold on. Don't do that. It's 
guy's probably like four feet nine. Jill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! God? Oh! I'm okay. I think we just left Chris there. Oh, never mind. There's a chance that he'll actually just straight up swat the rocket away. I was wondering why there were four shots for the rocket. Barry, put the fucking gun away. <laughs> And then they ran out of fuel. Okay. Well, that... Okay. <laughs> okay, well, that game just fucking ends out of nowhere, huh? Doesn't it? Why is it evil? I got my victory royale. Okay, Shiny with the two-month resub and John Cario with the 13-month resub. Poggers. <laughs> I expected like an hour more. Not like 20 minutes more. I expected that guy to like... I expected the big boy to like chase me around more. Or like be uh... I missed you carrying the fuel. Yeah, was that supposed to be hard? I just- I just walked the fuel to, to the thing and I put it in. Yeah, it said if you ran with it, it, it would explode. If you run too much or take too much damage, it can also happen if you shoot. No, yeah, I killed all the enemies in that area. So, I just walked there and walked back. I took the fuel to Chris because I thought he was thirsty, all right? <laughs> Jill, you did a fine job. 13 hours. Ink ribbons used, 25. Health items used, 26. Ammo used, 333. Creatures dispatched, 112. Play time, 13 hours, 34 minutes, and 5 seconds. Did a fine job. <laughs> yeah, I beat it in under two hours. Uh, I played Resident Evil Relations on stream. <laughs> it was a long time ago though, but I played it. I've beaten that game like three times. Eh, I've beaten it twice, but who cares? <laughs> Yeah, I beat the game in 13 minutes, 34 seconds, and 5 nanoseconds. Milliseconds. Mm. 
No, um, Revelations 2 is the co-op episodic one. Revelations 1 is the good one. <laughs> I wasn't watching. Can you play the whole game again? <laughs> What's the next game? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, Revelation Stream 1. I've already played it. Could I always play as Chris? No. Mm, no. Mm, no. <laughs> time for Resident Evil 6 tomorrow. Do you want it to be time for Resident Evil 6 tomorrow, Gore? Now play with features from the prototype version. Real survival mode unlocked. Item boxes are no longer connected, which means that items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Also, weapon aiming is manual. Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Experience these prototype only features unplayable in the original Resident Evil gameplay. Play as Brad and send the helicopter for 20 hours. <laughs> Jill has a new costume. You got a closet key. A new costume has been unlocked. You can change in the dressing room. Okay, well, that was, uh... That was Resident Evil. Once again, real survival. Uh, that game ended way faster than I thought it would. <laughs> All right, Munch. Jesus Christ, Munch! For fuck's sake, dude! The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, what, what's... Oh, Munch hasn't done real survival. Alright, Munch. Oh, Munch hasn't done invisible enemy. Okay, Munch. Alright. That's just how long Chris's story is. Uh, anyone want to explain this to me? <laughs> you dumb on the PS3 version? Yeah, okay, much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you did it really fast. 99 hours. I mean, I know that, like... Why does this show up as the first one though? Like, is it a is it an is it a buffer overflow? Yeah, is it an integer? Is it a integer overflow? Did he put like negative time in? It's been a thing since the since the game came out. And Capcom never bothered to fix it. Did he beat the game in negative ninety nine hours? No, he just did it really really fast. P90, fuck me. <laughs> oh. Uh. Excuse me? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Did 
Will you ever stream any Borderlands games? Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so can you just leave, Chris? <laughs> Puppy John with the Twitch Prime subscription. Pogs. You can leave him? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know, I thought that, like... I thought that I was going to have to, like... I thought that that guy was gonna chase... I thought the big, bad, like, eight-foot dude was gonna chase me around more. And I was gonna have to, like, search around for the key to get Chris out, and then... And then I thought that I was going to activate the self-destruct system myself. But, and then it kind of just all does everything for you. <laughs> and then I was thinking like, okay, I'm fighting the big bad boy in the parking lot at the helipad. Um, I know that these games always end with a rocket launcher. So I was thinking that like, I had to like, you know, bait him into doing the charge thing and then he would knock something out of the way and then I'd find the rocket launcher behind them. But, uh, um, none of that happened. <laughs> None of that happened. The game just kind of like played itself and did everything for me. So you can let Barry die and save Chris, save Barry, but not save Chris or save no one. Wait, okay, so if you don't give Barry his gun back, does he die in the fight with Lisa? Yeah, the rocket launcher literally falls out of the sky the, like, battery pack to get on the elevator is literally right in front of me. The game just unlocks Chris's door cell for me. Um, yeah. Okay, so if Barry ends up dying... Barry can also get knocked over by Lisa while fighting her and, and he'll also die. Oh, I didn't know that. That's hilarious. Okay, so if Barry dies, then when Wesker is about to kill me, who saves me? When Wesker pulls his gun out and is like, oh, I hate goodbyes, who, who saves me? The tyrant can also straight up kill Barry during the fight on the rooftop, too. That's funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the only reason for the MO discs is to get Chris out as well. So you can just, like... I'm, I bet nobody saves Chris in the speedruns. <laughs> okay, but what happens? If Barry dies... If Barry dies, who... Who saves Jill from Wesker? Wesker slips and hits his head. <laughs> The cutscene is different. Wesker activates the tyrant, and when it breaks out of the tube thing, it knocks over or kills Wesker. Yeah. Wesker's dead, by the way. Play it again and find out. So technically, it's the tyrant who saves Jill. Yep. That's interesting. Wesker's fuck. No, Wesker's dead. He's dead. Wesker's done for... Wait a minute. Wesker! You thought Wesker was in Resident Evil 5? No, that's not Wesker. Wesker was in Resident Evil 1 and none of the other games. There's usually two different types of speedruns where any percent is you let Barry die or you don't save Chris. But even then, Barry dying seems to be RNG. Even if you try to save Barry, he has a chance of just dying. <laughs> Am I poisoned? <laughs> Letting Barry die at Lisa also makes it where you don't fight the tyrant a second time on the roof. And when you call Brad, the game just ends. Wait, what? 
Letting Barry die at Lisa also makes it so that you don't fight the tyrant a second time on the roof? The self-destruct doesn't activate either? So do you have to activate the self-destruct yourself? What? What? Huh? <laughs> I'm confused. Can we play Minecraft? You just take the ma you just take the master key from Wesker's body and you get to the helipod helipad that way. So you just leave the mansion and it stays intact. What? I didn't know that. That's so weird. That's so weird. Why is that weird? Because it's just... Why Why does letting Barry die when you fight Lisa make the tyrant not come back a second time? Like, the, the first tyrant fight is like super easy and wasn't hard at all. <laughs> so it's like, that being the final boss is just so weird. Oh, the original game worked too. I thought that the final boss, I thought that was going to be way harder. I thought that was going to be way more difficult. <laughs> I guess I'm, <laughs> if you buy enough gifts for Wesker before day three, you unlock a sex scene. With who though? <laughs> what, if, what if everybody dies? The tyrant. You get to make out with the tyrant. All right. Well, time to play the game again. <laughs> nice it's the same with Chris there's a point in his story where Rebecca gets attacked by a hunter if you save her you get the true ending and fight the tyrant on the roof if the if the hunter kills her then you go then you don't and the lab tyrant is the final boss that's so weird okay wait 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 so okay wait wait, wait. okay so so if you if you're playing as Chris and Rebecca is your teammate then Rebecca doesn't betray you like, like, what's his face does then, right? Like Barry does, right? So, is Rebecca there with you in the fight with Lisa? Barry isn't in Chris's story at all. Oh, it's Wesker. Huh. Well, that seems more interesting than Barry. Wait. What? No, I have more questions. Okay, so if Wesker... <laughs> he can also get knocked off by Lisa, but it doesn't, change... it doesn't have any outcome on the story. Okay, so if Wesker... If Barry isn't in Chris's story at all, then when Chris goes to the residence and there's that cutscene where you see Barry talking to, you know, Wesker, who does that cutscene just not happen for Chris? In Chris's story, Barry gets stuck in the forest or something and you just have to assume he survived. That cutscene doesn't happen with Chris. What the heck? There's way more like... There's way more like different stuff than I expected. Chris has his own set of cutscenes and stuff. Okay, so... Obviously then, then the one... The person that Chris saves is Jill. And can Chris just leave Jill? <laughs> as well? <laughs> Bye Jill!
Okay, so... Alright. Okay, so... If I play as Chris... Chris can't lockpick doors, right? So Chris has to, like, use... Chris has to find keys? Chris has to find more keys to unlock doors? Like, what are the big gameplay differences between the two? Is that it? And Chris does... Chris, like, doesn't have as much inventory space, but why? Oh, he has more health, right? Was that it? Chris's story is harder for sure. Oh, Chris gets more inventory space. Oh, I thought Jill has more inventory space. No, Chris has less inventory space, but more health. Instead of the lockpick, Chris has to find small keys to open doors that Jill can lockpick. Chris only has six inventory spaces. So Chris has to go through... Chris doesn't get the grenade launcher. Chris has to go through all of that and all he has is more health? <laughs> he has less inventory space and he has to carry more keys and he doesn't get the grenade launcher? Does he get something else instead of the grenade launcher? Chris also needs the broken shotgun to get the real shotgun. Oh, that's what that was for. He gets to be handsome. Chris also has to replace the shotgun with the broken shotgun. Because no one will save him from the crushing trap. What? <laughs> what? Chris gameplay. Press A to sit and sell bed. Chris does not get the grenade launcher. You also can't get the salt shotgun until the aqua ring. What? Okay, so Chris just fucking sucks. <laughs> no wonder he got captured. What the hell, Chris? That's ridiculous. There's no reason to play as Chris. Thank fucking God I didn't play as Chris. That's crazy. Does Chris get anything special like how Jill got the lockpick? Apparently not. He just has more health. He has more health, less inventory space. He never gets the grenade launcher and he gets the assault shotgun at a later time than Jill. And he has to like manage more keys. Chris gets the lighter as his personal item so you don't have to find it and doesn't take up inventory space. As a kid I always used to play as Rebecca. Wait you can play as Rebecca? Because of her pick screen and intro video and animation. Why can't I play as Barry? <laughs> if you get poison in the first snake fight as Chris, you have to play as Rebecca to get him the serum. <laughs> Why can't I play as a snake? Why can't we play as the dude that gets killed right away in Jill's story? Who 
Who's the guy in Resident Evil Revelations? Who is that guy again? I can't remember what his name is. If you let Richard die in the mansion, then you get... Then when you get to Plant 42, it grabs Chris and Rebecca has to make the V-Jolt and kill... Yeah. Parker, right. Is Parker in any other game before that? The guy with the hair? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy with the hair. Man, now what do we do? <laughs> Parker's not in any other Resident Evil game. Okay, so Parker just looks exactly like Barry. <laughs> and uh, that's just what they do, huh? Oh yeah, isn't isn't Revenant isn't Resident Evil Parker's reference in Resident Evil 7? Really? I didn't know that. Nick with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, dude. <clears throat> Also, let me know when you're down for the thing, Nick. It must happen. Chris also can't play the piano, so when you do that puzzle, you have to let Rebecca play the piano, but she sucks at first, so you have to leave the room and let her practice a bit. Then you can complete the puzzle. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, so... Does Rebecca also just, like show up at random times like like uh like Barry, you know, like just <laughs> Nick, are you down for the thing? <laughs> Chris is just awful. Yeah, Chris just sucks. Playing through as Chris sounds terrible. <laughs> Chris also has <laughs> Chris also has a tummy ache, so you need to visit the bathrooms frequently. <laughs> Rebecca asks you Rebecca asks you if she can practice the Moonlight Sonata, but if you say no, she just does it anyways. Okay. It's why his cell had a toilet. When you go into the cave and use the elevator, she doesn't show up or go with you. So instead of someone betraying you and taking the elevator back up, the elevator just breaks and you can't use it anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah, Nick. Um, That's so weird. All of that just... That sounds so funny. I'm so glad we played as Jill. That sounds terrible. That bear is a unit. The bear's fine. More powerful than you. More powerful than all of us combined. That's why we gotta get to a thousand forge at some point. Uh <laughs> Maybe like, I don't know. Describe it in great detail. Uh, <laughs> ah! Describe it in great detail on stream and I give you 75% off. Well, it's uh Pertaining to Halloween. <laughs> uh, in both the original and remake, Chris is, yeah, Chris, like, it's definitely, like, yeah, because did the original version not have, like, you could choose difficulties? So maybe that was the difficulty, like, you know, hard and, and easy. Which I can respect more than just being, like, oh, yes, hard mode. Enemies have more health. No, like, the hard mode changes how you have to play the game. They don't warn you that, like, the characters, like, playthroughs are different, though, when you're at the... The original game has Jill as normal and Chris as hard. Oh, okay. In the remake, I don't... I feel like they didn't warn me that... Their playthroughs are different.
Yeah. I didn't expect there to be that many differences between their playthroughs. I also didn't expect there to just be so many, like, things that affected which ending you got. That's kind of nutty. <clears throat> okay. Uh, now what? I didn't. I didn't expect the game to be uh, finished that early. <laughs> Did not expect that. Um, Joe's story is way fast because you have more inventory slots. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. How would I rate this game? I'd give it like a seven. I can I can definitely see why people really really like you know appreciate that game, because there's nothing really there's nothing like that game on the market. You know like there's no other like that game felt that game felt you know like how a lot of games call themselves survival horror, but you know they're not very hard, or you know it's just like. It gives up on survival horror rate like really really early into the really really early into the game that game that game is definitely like nails down the survival aspect of survival horror games like oh my god I had to I really had to fucking scrounge around for shit in order to survive <laughs> those uh those early hours Should try and play Resident Evil 2. Isn't Resident Evil 2 like the best one? But the remake's coming out soon. But that does give me a reason to play it more. But I don't think I can handle another Resident Evil game. I don't think I can I don't think I can handle another OG Resident Evil game right now. I like the part where you couldn't save without increment smile. I like the part where you have to where you have to play the game for three hours and fifty minutes. Cause you ran out of increments. Tag, you ever play The Last Guardian? No. I didn't play The Last Guardian because I, I kind of don't like playing games specifically that are, like, designed just to make you sad. It's, like, why I don't watch, like, movies that are just, like, if you watch this, you're going to be sad. Like, no, I don't, I don't do that. I don't set myself up like that on purpose. <laughs> Why did you try playing Mature's Mask? Uh, to get the true ending, you technically have to play it twice because you have to do an A scenario and then the opposite character's B scenario afterwards. But there are fewer gameplay differences between Claire and Leon. I think I think the thing that would be the hardest for me in Resident Evil 2 is figuring out who to play as. You know, Leon or Claire. Like, do I play as the absolute fucking dork, or do I play as, like, the badass Claire, you know? Can you play as President Evil? <laughs> Is there a mod that lets you play as Mr. Evil? Play Resident Evil 4 so we can watch Leon ride on an invisible jet ski. I was thinking about replaying Resident Evil 4, um, but also like, oh my god, you know? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do Resident Evil 6, um, the co-op with Gore a little bit before I do like more. I I need to like, I need to take a break from. <laughs> I need to. I need I need a little bit more lighthearted gameplay for a little bit before I get back into more like solo kind of you know stressful Resident Evil. <laughs> mm. 
Resident Evil 6 is bad in a very funny way, <laughs> which is why <wild. laughs> which is why it's always a it's always a treat playing it cuz it's just <laughs> <laughs> it's just, what the hell? What the fuck? What are you, what the hell is going on? Yeah, it's, it's a fun experience for the wrong reasons. It's hilarious. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. I don't know if you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna get on, do you wanna do it? Tomorrow, Gore? Am I sticking with Resident Evil in the whole spook month then? Maybe, at this rate, it does seem like I'm gonna be on Resident Evil for the entire month, doesn't it? The, uh, uh, there's like, yeah, there's only 10 more days in the month. Jesus, God. Resident Evil 5 plus 6 are not great, but this, but super fun co-op. Some of my favorites. I think Resident Evil 5 is actually really, really good. I mean, like, in terms of, it, it does, like, some subtle things. It, that, Resident Evil 5 is bad <laughs> in terms of, like, in terms of memorable things, like... Resident Evil... <sighs> Resident Evil 5 is... Resident Evil 5... isn't... interesting? Right? Like, you don't really, like... There's not that really, like, many... Like, there's not that many, like, interesting things that happen in Resident Evil 5, like, things that... You remember besides like punching the boger, the the boga, <laughs> punching the boulder, right? But the gameplay is fun because Resident Evil 5's co-op gameplay is more fun than Resident Evil 6's because Resident Evil 5 limits your inventory. And at first, I thought when I first played that game when it first came out when I was a kid, I thought that only having five spaces in inventory was stupid and was just like, why the fuck did they do this? This sucks. But when I replayed it earlier this year with Gore, um, I realized that it it creates this dynamic with your co-op partner where you guys like have to work together. You guys have to work together to manage like to optimize your inventories. So like one person will be specialized in close range stuff or will have like a machine gun ammo or something like that and then the other person will have you know the sniper rifle or like you know like pistol spec like like you like you you both had to like spec into different like play styles because you couldn't carry you know like you couldn't carry a ma like you couldn't carry every weapon that you wanted you couldn't carry all the ammo that you wanted because it would take up a slot so you had to you know like divvy up the responsibilities between the two your two co-op partners and uh i think that was really cool i think they i think i that's what made that game fun and then resident evil 6 just like oh yeah you can have a rocket launcher you can have a fucking submachine gun you can have a sniper rifle you can have a goddamn you know fucking shake weight uh and you can have all the ammo you want for all of them there's no inventory anything requirements Nothing like that, or like restrictions, and so that game is definitely like, like Resident Evil Five. You had to like think about what you were doing, and Resident Evil Six. It's just you know. Leon's briefcase is still the best Resident Evil inventory system. I do, yeah, I do, uh, I do agree with that. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4's briefcase system was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I played Resident Evil 4, I, uh, I carried around, what was it? It was like the biggest fish that you can find. I just had it in my inventory for the entire game. <laughs> I beat the game with the fish. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, that game was horrendous. 